All right, boys and girls, for this project, you will need a pencil or a black marking pen, some cars and trucks if you have them handy, some crayons, markers, or colored pencils. Or if you'd like, you could even paint this project. What I'd like to do first is put my paper on my desk so it is landscape or horizontal is another word for this. Basically, you want your paper wider than it is tall. Another thing you may want to consider doing is folding your paper in half and then unfolding it so that you could use the bottom half of your paper for your cars and trucks and your top half for your background. To get started, what I would like for you to do is take a car or a truck and start to study it. Take your time and notice all of the details. Look for familiar shapes. What are some familiar shapes that you see in this truck? I see circles, I see a rectangle, and I see a square shape in the window. I'm gonna draw with pens, you could see a little bit easier. And I'm gonna start at the bottom with the tires. So I'm gonna draw the tires towards the bottom of my paper. And I want the front tire and the back tire to be about the same size. Then I'm going to draw the line connecting the two tires in between. And it doesn't quite touch the tire. It actually kind of wraps around and extends. And your eye is just gonna move back and forth from your car or truck to your drawing. And just take your time, have fun with it. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just take your time and draw what you see. And looking for those familiar shapes. If you have some other details you'd like to add, go ahead and have some fun with it. Again, this doesn't have to be perfect, but it is lots of fun. When you're done, choose another car or truck to add to your drawing. Then think about what kind of backgrounds you would like. Maybe you would like the city buildings to be in the background, or maybe you would like houses to be in the background or other buildings. Maybe you want um, scenery like the mountains to be in the background. Whatever you choose is up to you. Um, a few other ideas, if you would like to add a street sign, make sure that you draw the words before you draw the sign. So for example, if I wanted to add a stop sign here, maybe I'll put it back here, draw the letters first, stop, then draw the sign around it so that you know it will fit inside, okay? When you're done, boys and girls, have fun coloring with either your markers or crayons. Make sure you're trying to color inside the lines. Do your best coloring, whether you choose markers, crayons, or even paints. And one tip with the markers, if you're using chisel tips, Use the side of your marker and imagine you're going across your shape or your item, almost like a lawnmower, just going back and forth using that chisel tip to help you cover large areas. And you don't need to color the sky necessarily or really large areas like a huge area of grass. Just do your best have fun with it and I look forward to seeing your drawings on the Google Classroom app. If you're able to upload a picture, you will get extra credit. Bye for now, boys and girls.